Welcome everyone to the latest discussion and today I wanted to focus on the extreme floods which struck portions of Spain. The event began on Friday, October 25th, when the cold front associated with this system swept across the Iberian Peninsula, gaining momentum as it neared the Mediterranean coast. On Saturday and Sunday, much of Iberia was overtaken by showers and some thunderstorms as the center of this upper level low drifted south and temporarily pushed the greatest flood threat over Sardinia, France, and northwestern Italy. By late Sunday into Monday, conditions improved in France and Italy, but things would only worsen in Spain, especially by Monday evening when thunderstorms explosively developed over the Elboran Sea, kicking off the worst stage of this event. Perhaps one of the most notable events on Monday was the destructive thunderstorm which slammed into the town of El Ejido in the evening, dropping hailstones as large as 7 centimeters in diameter, which inflicted severe damage to vehicles, trees, and some structures. Unfortunately, everything that had happened up to this point pales in comparison to the absolute nightmare which occurred on Tuesday, October 29th. As rain continued falling in the southern portion of the country, an increasing number of well-defined bands of persistent thunderstorms became apparent, but none of them were quite as persistent and utterly extreme as the one which was developing near Valencia. By the early afternoon, improvements began further south, as an increasingly organized line of thunderstorms began lifting northward for hours to come, as the train of storms near Valencia continued raging on. Some of those thunderstorms even acquired supercellular characteristics, resulting in multiple damaging tornadoes. It wasn't until late Tuesday evening into the nighttime hours that things calmed down near Valencia, but it was already too late. An unimaginable amount of destruction had taken place. Some of the footage that has flooded social media from these affected communities is among some of the worst I've ever personally seen, and the destruction inflicted by this extreme weather event will undoubtedly go down in record books, and will be vividly remembered by many people across Spain. Now, as of today, Wednesday, October 30th, widespread rainfall is moving into southwestern Spain, around Seville and Gibraltar, with more thunderstorms lingering around Catalonia and the Balearic Islands. Between Thursday and Saturday, this is roughly the trend that I expect to continue, with the main difference being a shift in the rain and thunderstorm activity more towards Portugal by Friday, before this system finally clears out by Sunday. As we look back at this event, some of you may be wondering, why did this storm system stick around for so long? Aren't weather systems supposed to keep moving? Well, that's usually the case, but this system was different in the sense that it got cut off from the main flow of things, which makes the term cut off low appropriate. Once that occurred, two large anticyclones connected to the north, which basically locked this low pressure system over southwestern Europe, where it will remain for another couple of days. As we look further ahead into November, I'm thankfully not seeing any signs of another storm system like this one, but I did want to bring to your attention the potential for extreme rainfall in portions of Norway, where as much as 100 to 200 millimeters of rainfall will be possible in the span of 24 hours. The same storm system will then produce plenty of snow in the higher elevations, with a swath of snowfall extending through Sweden, Finland, and Russia, followed by a colder air mass. Make sure you stay tuned for more updates like this one, especially regarding the upcoming changes in November. Feel free to leave any of your questions and concerns down below, but for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.